I'm Evan, and on this episode of Hemming's Garage, we're gonna paint the original 400 from my 1970 GTO with POR15 engine enamel. So my dream car was a 1970 GTO, and it's sort of something I thought that I would never have, and I got lucky, found the perfect candidate, traded a car that I had and then almost every part in my garage to bring it home, and you know it came home in this awesome sort of patinaed barn fine state, and I sort of thought that's how it would live. One of my really good friends, uh, Harold Clay and Harold Hot Rods, actually took the car, painted it, and it's the most beautiful thing that's ever been in my garage. The attention to detail and just the overall quality of the body is unbelievable. It's completely original sheet metal. They were able to fix things that I never thought you could actually fix. I thought we'd be ordering new panels and they made the original ones look absolutely gorgeous. So the car was so good that I had to do something really cool with the engine. So this is the original Pontiac 400. I'm building a 461 cubic inch stroker. It's gonna have a Ram Air 5 head on it. And while LS engines are awesome and they're great for a lot of things, for this car, it absolutely had to be original. For a lot of my engine projects, I've used an aerosol engine paint and it's quick, it's easy, but it doesn't really have the durability that a lot of more premium products, such as this POR15 engine enamel have. So this is actually a brush on, though it can be sprayed engine enamel that's got way better chemical resistance, heat resistance. It's just a much more durable paint. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And they actually had it in the original Pontiac blue color, which is perfect for my project. POR15 actually recommends that we start with their rust preventative coating because this engine is straight from the machine shop. It's bare cast iron, and we wanna give our paint the best chance at sticking and looking great. And with that dark cast iron color that the block sort of naturally is, we wanna make sure that that doesn't bleed through and then affect the hue of our engine enamel. The first step in getting this engine ready for paint is gonna to be to degrease it. Now this engine is fresh from the machine shop, but I've been mocking up my scat stroker crank and checking some clearances and I use assembly lubricant from that. So inevitably I've gotten some greasy finger prints in the block and that's gonna kind of prevent the paint from adhering. So we wanna make sure that we start with the cleanest block possible. And to accomplish that, we're using POR 15's degreaser. That mixes four parts to one with hot water. So we're gonna take a little brush here and just scrub some of the kind of problem spots on this engine and make sure that it's squeaky clean. What I'm gonna do next is going to be to uh, rinse it thoroughly with water. You know, if this engine was complete, I would probably spray it down with a hose and make sure that I got all of the degreaser off. But because we're in my garage, it's a bare block, it's got machine surfaces, there's a lot of places that could rust that would be really critical um, and could cause some problems. I'm gonna use a squirt bottle and a lint-free towel and just make sure that I get all this degreaser off and it's nice and, and ready for the next step. Now that the engine is completely clean, all the loose sort of debris, uh, grease is all gone, thoroughly scrubbed away, and the engine has had a chance to completely dry. This is really important. Uh, we're gonna use POR15 metal prep, and what this is gonna do is sort of etch the surface of the bare cast iron and just make it a little bit more uh, friendly for the enamel to have great adhesion and really last a long time. So this is really clean cast iron. There's no rust or scale on here. So we're gonna use this metal prep to etch the surface and we just have to keep the block wet for about 10 to 20 minutes just to make sure that it, it actually kind of soaks in and does its job and, and etches the base uh, material of the cast iron. If there was rust or scale, there'd be a lot more sort of scrubbing and, and process involved, but we're lucky that we have a really clean block. It's been about 10 minutes. We've kept the block completely wet with the metal prep solution. And now we're ready to take some water, really thoroughly rinse it, and then we'll be ready to apply our rust preventative coating. And I'm just using clean water to rinse this off. No soap, uh, no degreasers, no other sort of cleaning additives, just water. All right, so the engine's degreased, our metal prep's on, and now it needs to dry. And it needs to thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly dry before we apply the rust preventative coating. So while we're waiting, I've taped off most of the engine already, but I'm just gonna tape off this last little bit so that when we apply the coating and then later the actual engine enamel, we don't get any paint where we don't want it to go. This Pontiac engine block is clean enough to eat off of, and now we're ready to apply our rust preventative coating.
Now the block is completely coated in rust preventative coating, and while we originally were gonna plan on brushing on this paint, after talking to POR15, we learned that some of their metallic-based coatings actually look a little bit better if we spray them on, so we're gonna go ahead and use a spray gun and apply that all over the block. Now, a lot of their other engine enamels such as the solid colors like the Hemi Orange that we used on our A100 project, those brush on and look absolutely great. Because we let the rust preventive enamel on the block dry, we're gonna go back with a magenta scuff pad and just kind of scuff up that enamel a little bit. That's gonna give us better adhesion um, from the top coat. Now, if you're doing everything in a row, what POR15 recommends doing is allowing the rust preventative coating to just kind of dry to a little bit of tackiness. They say a slight drag on the brush, and that's when you would apply your top coat. Now that the block is scuffed, it's ready for paint application, we're gonna take our engine enamel and we're gonna mix it up with a little bit of POR15 solvent. Now it's really important that you use a solvent that is correct for the engine enamel, otherwise you could run into some problems. And we're gonna mix this just with a little bit of solvent at a time, sort of test in the gun and make sure that it sprays nice. We wanna use as little solvent as possible. Um, that's gonna reduce how many coats that we have to do, but we just need the right amount to where it comes out of the spray gun looking really nice. I just finished up laying down a beautiful coat of engine enamel with a little bit of help from POR15. My Pontiac is finally Pontiac blue, and now I can't wait to actually put it together. Everybody has their sort of own way of doing this part of the job and applying their masking tape, but for me, I work on a lot of engines and I've kind of found that whenever there's a nice machined sort of surface, I can just take a smooth piece of metal, kind of rub it right along that machined edge, and break the tape. 